Hey, this is Bremster, and this is the next puzzle in my series of Sudoku problems. This is a quadruple problem sent in by Virtual. So the rules of quadruples is any um, digit that is placed in a circle must be, um, well, any digit in a circle must be placed at least once in the four cells touching that circle. Um, so I'm going to give you a few seconds. There is a link to the problem below where you can uh, try it on a grid, or you can try and do this one in your head. Um, and then I'm, so pause the video, I'll come back in a few seconds and explain how this one works. Okay, so this is quite a common um, trick in quadruples and is often used to find a break-in in a quadruples puzzle. So because the digits 1 and 2 must be placed in these cells in um, box 1, they cannot be placed in any of those cells. And I'm actually going to highlight, even though you can kind of do this in your head, or you can. Um, so they cannot be placed in any of those cells. And similarly over here, the digits 1 and 2 must be placed here, so they cannot be placed in any of those cells. So what we now know is that in row three, you cannot put one and two in any of those cells, and this is a nine, so you can't put a one or a two there. So this has to be where the one and the two goes in row three, but there's a one looking at that cell. So that becomes the two, that becomes the one, and that is the solution to the um, the problem. Um, these are, you know, when you get quadruple clues with pointing similar digits, um, you can very quickly um, determine uh, where things go. So um, that is a very common quadruple trick and definitely worth calling out in a Sudoku problem. Thank you everyone for watching, hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.